Hey guys, it's Oz Creates, and today we'll be unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo of Spirit Halloween's Hauntress. Alright, so we're going to unbox her here. This is an awesome prop, and I would totally recommend getting her. So, let's put her box down and take it out. So here's the instructions. Here is her head. Let me show you guys this. It's full latex. It's pretty awesome, and it's just like a good head. <laughs> so then here's the shoulder piece. Here is, I think, um, oh, this is what you put your weight in to hold her down, I'm guessing. Here is, I'm guessing, her uh, electronics. Um, here are her hands. These hands have great details on them. They just don't have fingernails. And here is her cloak. And then I'm going to have to go get scissors, but in here in the box is her base. All right, so we took everything out of the box and got it all unzip tied. So the first step right here is to have your base on a flat surface, right here, like on a flat ground or any of that. And then we're gonna take pole B and connect it to the pole that has no letter. So you're just gonna slide that in there and click it in. And then you have to connect, um, you have to insert the metal pole part B into the base part A, which is right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out where that goes in. Oh, it's a screw. So we're gonna put this in here. And then we're going to get our screws and screw those in off camera. All right, let me go do that quickly. Okay, so now that we put the screws in, there's four of them and you put them on each side, one on the top and two on the bottom. Now we are going to attach the spring part C. So you're going to loop it on this and then to this. So let me see where I set the spring. Here it is. So here's the spring. So let me see how it says to do it. So you're going to put one part right here like this and then you're going to stretch it and clip the other part on right here. Be careful because it can pinch you but that's so if it's leaning down it can slowly pull itself back up. So now that we have the spring on we're gonna put this plastic shoulder piece on to help support it. So now that I have that, I'm gonna have to get what you hear is part A. So I'm gonna put part A on, let me see if I can do it after I show you guys. So I'm gonna put the part A on here, but first I'm gonna show you guys it down here so I can get that on. So the part A has a screw. So we're gonna put it on like this and then I'm gonna screw it in off camera. All right, so we got the screws in right here and right here, and this is the shoulder piece to help have it have shoulders. So now we're gonna put this right here, and it's gonna, wait, let me just make sure I'm clipping it in right. I just wanna get perfect. Okay, so we're gonna clip it in right here. There we go. And then the next step is the arms. So here are the two arms. They're pretty cool, as I said at the beginning. So we can position them how we want after I get them on, but just so it's a bit better, let me see how the instructions say to put them on. So we insert the prongs right here into the part K holes on the plastic shoulder frame. So we have to find the hole right here, and you just slide that down, that's pretty simple. And then we are gonna slide this up a bit just to give it some more love. And then we can kind of position the hand like that. It's like it's trying to grab you or something. And now we'll do the same for the second hand. Kind of grab it and we'll fix how it looks in a second. Let me just go ahead and get that one in. Okay, that's in. And then we're gonna kind of position this one now kind of like this. There we, that oh, it came unclipped. There we go. And now, this part right here is just plastic to help give the shoulders more look to them. So this is gonna go on right here. 
And then over here, we have some zip ties. And I'm gonna do the zip ties off camera for you guys, but that was it. I'll come back in just a second. All right, so the next step is installing the head. So the head's gonna go right here on top of this, and we're gonna screw it in with the two other metal screws that it came with. So I'm gonna do that off camera, but I'm just gonna go ahead and place the head on. So I'm gonna do that off camera, so I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so the next step is gonna be the clothing. So she's got a good material of clothing. So I'm just gonna look at the instructions here and how it says to put it on. It just says pretty much drape it around the body. So we're gonna find where it opens up here at the bottom. Oh, it looks like it's got Velcro. So we're gonna undo all the Velcro. And then here's the hood part. So I guess we're gonna put this on her head, right like that. And I'll fix that in just a second a bit better, but let me get the rest of the clothing on her body. So we're gonna take this like this and find the arm sleeve right here. And I'm guessing we just kind of put that hand in the arm sleeve, I guess. So through the arm sleeve, this might take a second because her hands are gigantic. So we're gonna put those through there. Oh, her nails broken through. <laughs> so we're gonna put this like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the other hand just so it's done. So there's the thumb. There we go. There we go. And now we're gonna go do the other hand over here. This one might hopefully go a bit better. Yep, there we go. And now we're gonna pull the clothes up around her body. And then right down here, we'll position that better in a second. But she has like Spirit Halloween freaky fabric, I guess, pretty much all over her. And then after all this freaky fabric, she has a nice base coat of fabric. So let's just make it look really good because I like my animatronics to look dressed very well. So let me pull this up around her body a bit better and Velcro that. And let me Velcro this one up here. There we go. That's Velcro. So I'm gonna fix up her clothes a bit off camera so you guys don't have to watch this mess. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Okay, so here she is, Hauntress. She is amazing. We got our clothes all fixed up nice. And now we're gonna do the electronics. So down here, I have the control box and of course all the step pad and all that stuff and where you plug in the sensor. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull her skirt around like this. And there's Velcro on the bottom and Velcro right here. So you're gonna Velcro that like that and then take this little cord and pretty much, it's pretty simple. Just take it and let me just make sure I'm doing it the right way so we don't wanna mess up. Cause these are pretty hard to take apart. There we go. Now that is on and this is all good. So now our next step is going to be right here, the IR sensor. And then we're gonna plug it right in here to the control box. Right here, there's a little socket that says IR sensor. So you're gonna plug that in right there. And here it is, you put this on a door frame or wherever you want. So now let's go to the demo. Okay, so we finished setting her all up and she's all good now and the sensor is ready. So here is a bag if you wanna fill it with sand. She needs 20 pounds at least to hold her up or she could fall down. But for this scenario, since we're inside, we just used a bunch of five pound weights and one pound weights. And that's plenty to hold her. So let's do a demo. Let me turn her on and she can be either sensor or no sensor. You can really just choose what you kinda of want. But let me turn her on down here. 
And here she goes. <laughs> Alright, let me turn her volume up a bit. Alright, we'll do one more demo. Here's a sensor. Okay, so there she was, Hauntress. Now let's go to the night demo. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is such an awesome prop. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.